over the moon. Obviously, uh, it's been a sort of roller coaster month. Obviously, um, with guys going and, and whatever else. But personally, um, to score nine goals and when you know the, the Glen Torn play of the month, and then obviously now the Football Raiders, it's it's fantastic. Um, obviously, firstly the the Glen Torn one. Um, it's you know it's it's a fan based vote. So you know uh, thanks to everybody who, who obviously voted. Um, um, over the moon to pick that award up. You know it's the first one I've got of the season. So I'm great. You know grateful of that and. A massive thanks to the football writers for you know recognising what I've done over the last month and and awarding me such a prestigious award. And just talk us through the the, the month of February. Just talk us through from, from the start. Uh, the Irish Cup obviously scored the four goals, four chances and four goals, and it sort of set me up. And since then, you know, I, t- I feel like I just can't miss. If you know, I scored obviously the winner against Bala Mallard, I think on the Tuesday night, which was a big goal, and then obviously the winner against Cliftonville, which after missing a penalty was was big, and then two again against Warren Point and. A couple in between, so um, fair play to the lads. They've been creating more chances, and and uh, thankfully they've been putting most of them in. I know the last couple of years it was more or less a case of we were dependent on you to score your to score our goals. You've got uh, was it nine or something in, in the month of February, mm-hmm. and, and Robbie's chipped in as well. So there's definitely chances being created. Well, that's it. I've got nine, and Robbie's five. So it's fantastic. We need more people scoring goals. You know, it, it, it can't be just down to maybe one or two. So it, it shows we are creating chances, and and, and more to the fact we're taking them. But so it, it's brilliant, and obviously. Goal difference can come down to you know at the end of the season can be big too, so it's fantastic for the team and, and obviously myself and Robbie. And uh, the start of the season, do you ever set yourself sort of any targets? And going into the month of February, where did you see yourself in, in part of your targets? Uh, I think the target for any striker in the Irish League is to score twenty goals. I think if anybody scored twenty goals in the Irish League in a season, it's a good season. You know, it's a, it's a good return, and obviously it, it's sort of short term. You're trying to get your first and your fifth and your tenth. So at the moment, obviously I'm nineteen and. I want to try and get that twentieth as soon as possible, and then I'll try and you know go from there and try and hit twenty-five. There's a lot of games that left, you know, and, and hopefully we can create some chances and I'll put them away. And, and at the minute, I'm just focusing, you know, on getting the twentieth, and, and hopefully it'll be you know an important goal or some big games coming up. Um, and once I get that, then I'll you know I'll, I'll look to sort of score as many as I can in the season. I'll, I'll sort of not rest there, but there's a good chance. There's a lot of games left, including you know of the European places and whatever else. So I have a good chance to beat my target. You're adding goals, you know, every season. What, what's what's the trick? You know, you your, your birthday in the month of February. Mm-hmm. Was it thirty? Your thirty, yeah. Your thirty, so you're you're aging, but you're scoring. You're scoring yeah. goals. What's the trick? Um, belief. I think self belief. Um, I'm working hard. You know, I think throughout my career, I've always but you know had a lot of belief in myself in front of goal, and it showed. And I think in terms of things like, um. Personally, you know, missing pound, that penalty that you know could have sort of went into a shell, but I've I've worked on my mental, mental toughness and things like that just don't affect me anymore. You know, when I was younger, it might have might have went into my shell a wee bit, but it, you know, uh, I'm disappointed, but I brush it off and and I'm ready for the next chance and keep putting myself in there. And I think that's something I'm, I'm trying to bring into some of the younger boys in the team, especially the strikers and Bobo obviously before he went. You know, with, um, being a striker is all about scoring goals, and you know you've got to be confident and and, and believe in yourself that you're going to score. I think you know for me. To talk to Robbie in its early days, Robbie, you know, he's a good player and he, you know, he's he's lively and I see a lot of sort of aspects of myself and and Robbie, um, and for me just to speak to him, you know, it's it, I think mentally again, you know, for him it, it's hard coming back from England, you know, he, he's a transition from Irish league, you know, from from across the water and it takes a wee bit of time and I think that's still he's starting to bed in a wee bit more, but I think that, you know, next year it'll be a big year for him and. Um, I'll probably maybe speak to him, in, you know, a wee bit more then, you know, in, in terms of the two of us um, going into next year and working up a partnership will be good for us and just learning each other, you know, and, and the more goals and more chances we can create, you know, the, the better it's going to be for myself and him. People kind of expect, like, you know, with playing two up front, the starters are just going to gel straight away. What sort of things do, do yourself and Robbie and, and the other boys that play up front, what sort of things do you, do you need to do to make sure your partnerships... Um, it's 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 all about you know talking to each other. It's it's not easy, you know, in terms of um, the time that we've probably played, you know, up front together, and including even John at the start of the year. You know, it, it's not a lot of time, and you've got to just talk to each other and things that you you do, you know, and and things you like because um, if I know what way he would maybe likes the ball when I'm crossing it or I'm gonna put it through to him and, and vice versa, it can help each other and massively, you know, playing together, just trying to get minutes together and 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 talking during games and and focusing on things, you know, after games. It's um, can all help. It, it it's hard, you know, to to build up a, a partnership very quickly, even if you're scoring goals, because it, you know you've been coming from different areas of, of football. But I think we sh- you see now we're starting to gel a wee bit more. We're starting to know a wee bit more about each other, and hopefully, you know, coming into the last few games of the season, that we can continue to do that. And do you think it's uh, important? You know, at the start of the season we had the Detroit trip at the tail end of last year, and you got yourself injured again. <laughs> you said you worked in, in your mental side of things over the years. Did you 
more or less just put that down. You want to be focused to, to make sure you hit the start of the season running? Well, yeah. I'd, obviously, I was disappointed over in Detroit, but, you know, if there's ever time to get injured, it was probably the right time to get injured. You know, it gave me enough time to um, come back, obviously, for the start of the season. And, and fair play to, you know, Johnny, the physio, he was he was with me. We, we didn't really have a break, you know, an off-season break, because I was with him in the gym quite a lot in that period where there wasn't a lot going on. Um, so in terms of that, it was it was me, for me, and you know, it was all about just being focused and, and knowing what I needed to do to get back and to be fit. And um, thankfully, you know, I did that. I think I played just about one match before the start of the season, but you know, it worked very hard off it and and scored two in the first day of the season. That obviously helps, and um, you know, kicked on from there. Um, hard work in pre-season. I think you know, it, it, pre-season is a big thing for any player. You need you need to have that foundation of fitness, and it'll stand by you as you go along. We've still a lot to play for. Massive Irish Cup game coming up, and you know if we can get through that, you know in any any possible way, it, it gives us a massive chance in a semi final to to go again. And the Irish Cup's been kind to this club over the last few years, and, and obviously since I've been here, so you know the belief is there that we can win the Irish Cup, and it has to be there. And you know we've got to prepare um, right for Saturday's game, and then prepare even even more so for Tuesday night's game. And you know for me personally, it, the target you know I want to hit twenty goals, and, and I'll see if I can do that. You know I can see where I go from there, and. Any other sort of awards that come away, you know, from the end is, you know, I'll be over the moon. And how do you, how do you keep yourself motivated season by season, given that you, what you've won over the years and the goals you've scored at clubs? How do you keep yourself just level-headed and focused every season? If you know what it feels like to score a goal and that feeling of when the ball hits in that, that's what, that's what keeps you going. That see scoring goals, there's, there's no better feeling. Um, I think if you ask anybody when they score a goal, it's, it's, it's fantastic. And, you know, they hear the fans and, and, and stuff like that. And... Um, you know, with my family there watching it, it's fantastic, you know, and I'll keep playing and keep going until the, the goals dry up. And when, when goals are scored, then come celebrations. You seem to have the, you know, the routine celebration. Just talk us through what the celebration uh, just I don't know, it just came about when I was I was younger. Basically. I think I was 16 or 17 when I was over in Bournemouth, and it was just a celebration I seen somebody else do, and I think I just started to do it, and it just stuck. I, I think it's just good to have one celebration. I think when I score... People start to recognise that that's that's my celebration and that's what I do and um, I don't know. I just that's just the celebration I chose to do and I've always kept with it.